Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make crock pot caramel sauce. This sauce can be used to top ice cream, you can use it in desserts, you can put it on brownies. There's a variety of things that you can do with it and it's super easy to make. You can find the things that you're going to need to make this caramel sauce in the information box below along with the recipe. You can find it on the website or the Roku channel. The things you're going to need to make the recipe are sweetened condensed milk. These are 14 ounce cans and I'm doing uh, a recipe that I'm going to be using a double batch for so I'm going to use two cans. You'll need some jars with lids, you'll need water, and you'll need your crock pot or slow cooker. I've opened my condensed milk and what I'm going to do now is pour them in the jars. So I'm just going to use a little spatula and help me get it all out and put one can in each of these jars. Okay, that's all in. So now I'm going to put the tops on. And now I'm ready to put them in the crock pot. I'm going to now put these in the crock pot. I'm going to set them in there and then I'm going to take the water and I'm going to fill them up to where the condensed milk comes up in the jar. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the water in. Okay, so we're going to fill this up and there it goes. Now you'll want to check this as it's cooking during the day and if the water gets down below the level of the condensed milk you'll want to refill until it reaches that line. So what I'm going to do now is put the top on. I'm going to put my crock pot on low for eight hours. And I'll check it periodically to see if my water has maintained the level and if it goes down I will refill it and I'll show you what it looks like after eight hours. My caramel sauce cooked for eight hours and now I'm ready to take it out of my crock pot. So I'm going to take the top off and I'm just going to grab these and put them on this towel. It's nice and brown now. So these are going to sit here on the counter for a couple of hours and cool and then they'll be refrigerated to completely cool. Then you can use it as a topping for ice cream, you can use it in desserts or a topping for anything that you choose. So this is crock pot caramel sauce. I hope you enjoy it. 